this is a first for me. There's a bunch of kids in here. They're all looking at me. <laughs> well, this really cleared out. I think they wanted to say hi. Hi, this is Anning here, and a lot of strange things happen to me on a daily basis like you just saw. Maybe it's because I'm from Michigan, or maybe it's because I've been a grad student abroad. I kind of live in Tokyo and Shanghai at the same time. So I've been on a lot of trips and one thing I've come to know is you can't control everything so expect the unexpected. And I did some research in Nagoya. I bought these expensive bullet train tickets and after the research was done there was only one thing I wanted to do. See the castle. It's the only thing to see in Nagoya and that was what we wanted to do. So this is our story of trying to see this darn castle. This is really anticlimactic. <laughs> I thought it was going to come right away. <laughs> it's going to come like the second I turn the camera off. It's usually how it works. Oh, it's coming. You got to get on and you have to get on fast or it's going to leave without you. We got something really special today. This is a Pikachu donut. <laughs> it's really cute. You can you can have a bite of Pikachu's little butthole. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a terrible thing to say. <laughs> That's really what it is. Here, you can have a Pikachu butt. <laughs> this is my Pikachu butt. Your Pikachu butt is inside. What happened to your guy? Welcome to Nagoya. This is where we are. Right now, and it's cold. Here I am at Nagoya Castle, Nagoya Jo, which is basically the only thing to see in Nagoya. That's right. This big of a city only has one tourist attraction, and this is it. So once you see this, you can go home because oh, there's nothing else. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. There's a lot of castles in Japan. I think this is the third one I've been to. I went to Osaka Jo, Odawara Jo, and this is the third one, Nagoya Jo. So, pretty nice day too. Got lucky. By this point, my expectations for this castle were like sky high. It was like Nagoya. This was going to be a really sexy trip. But then reality hit it. We came here just before closing time. 
Can we still get in? Well, better late than never. Maybe they'll let us in out of pity. <sighs> Apparently we're too late. Well, that's what you get for not making it on time. Oh. Now we know. <laughs> you cannot enter it at this time. It's under construction. This was a total flashback to other trips in Japan that went in an unexpected way, like Kiyomizu Te Temple in 2016. Closed due to construction. Couldn't see anything. And Shuri Castle in 2019. Caught on fire, burned to the ground, absolutely destroyed. So how do you turn a fail into a win? In this situation, I suggest you gotta stay positive. It helps. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> I think there's some greenery. <laughs> Today, the guy from National Geographic is following me again. He brought his camera. You're getting paid for this, right? Yeah. You should be paid. You're doing yeah. a lot of work. <laughs> At the end of the day, I did not get to see inside that castle, but that's okay. I'll live. That brings us to our comment for today. What unexpected things have happened to you on vacation? Leave your comment below, and thank you for watching. See you next time.